Hey, it's some old guy coding again today, and I'm starting out in a series of episodes on upgrading from the Lowrider to the Lowrider 2 CNC machine. And, uh, you know, a lot of you might say, well, why upgrade? I mean, if I've got a perfectly good, you know, Lowrider running, why would I want to take it all apart and, uh, you know, rebuild to uh, a Lowrider 2? And that's a good question. But first, let's take a look at some of the advantages of the Lowrider 2. Obviously, the Lowrider 2 has some advantages over the uh, previous model. I mean, there's a fewer lower parts count, so there's less printing involved. There's a simpler design, which makes it easier to build and less fumbling around. Uh, there's a smaller 611 plate, so that gives you a slightly uh, ability to get closer to the edges, so you effectively have a slightly larger work area. Um, there's built-in dust collection that uh, you know the other one really didn't have, and it's got some wider belts, <clears throat> 10 millimeter instead of six. And, uh, you know, the advantage of that, I don't know, I guess there's been some cases, some uh, belt vibration causing some problems. I'm not really sure, but um, obviously Ryan made that change for a reason. So the obvious question, if you have a lowrider, do you really need to upgrade to a lowrider too? Well, no, of course not, unless there's some specific thing you want that the lowrider has, like maybe the nice dust collection. Uh, that might be a good reason to upgrade for some people, but for me, it's a, a little bit different So why am I upgrading uh, first off of course, you know, I make YouTube videos I don't maybe maybe you hadn't noticed But uh, I've been doing a bunch of these YouTube videos and some people actually find them helpful so if I make a YouTube video about going through a um, you know, Lowrider 2 build and people like them and find them helpful well, I, see I get more views, you know, and my YouTube channel builds which I appreciate and uh, of course um, I want to do some improvements and do some changes one was I wanted to add that dust collection uh, see if I can do some better dust collection than the previous version which I basically didn't do any dust collection on and I like to do uh, dual end stops with auto squaring especially for the z-axis and uh, I have a Rambo Mini, which only allows one extra driver on it, so obviously I'm going to have to change my board out. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch back to a ramps card that I have on hand here, just because I can't afford to buy a you know full size Rambo card. So, but anyway, a uh, ramps card will allow me to do uh, auto zeroing or uh, auto squaring on on two axes. So it'll be my long axis and Z, of course. And you know, uh, another thing is I just like to build things. And, uh, you know, building it and uh, the uh, excitement of a new project and the idea that, ooh, I can really do some cool things with this is uh, really enticing. And uh, I've got some experimental things I'd like to do, too. And some of the experimental things I'm going to be looking at, or hopefully looking at, intending to work on, is the parking and homing of the system. You know, when you're done with a job, it sits there eventually the motor timer turns out and the motors turn off and you know it drops to the ground and uh, or drops to the work surface or one drops one side drops and the other side doesn't drop and uh, I don't want that I, I want it to have nice control and stay in position and I want to know where it's at um, I want to try things like automatic bit lake checking and I want to investigate ideas like continuous production with uh, different work offsets on the, on the work surface or queued jobs and you know some sort of round robin thing maybe I don't know um, then if you want to really go off the, the deep end here uh, I've had this weird idea about having a dual head system where it, which would be capable of doing independent or cooperative jobs you know two different two different heads on there with two different sets of tools that sort of thing going on um, you know and uh, of course uh, I've got some ideas for writing some control software to do all this too so we'll see how far I get with that um, some pretty wild ideas but uh, it sounds like fun yeah so we'll see so we, I've talked about this a little bit now just to give you a reason why I'm starting this series and and uh, you know you can understand why I'm doing it and uh, you know I hope you continue to watch my video series here make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell so you can get the next one when I release it so let's uh, let's go ahead and start uh, start with the first video here we go thanks hey it's some old guy coding again today and it's time to upgrade to a uh, lowrider 2 I think 
I've got my uh, wooden parts cut out here. I've got them sort of roughly finished. It didn't come out too good. I got a few scratches here and there, but that's fine. And then here's the, uh, the 611 plate. It's much smaller than it was last time. I like that. And so I can get a little bit more run from uh, end to end here and, and perhaps a little tighter space on the other side too. <clears throat> it comes um, with a designed uh, um, dust shoe. Let's see if I'm putting this on the right way here. It will go on like that. And this little insert here will uh, slide right in here and uh, underneath the 611 and kind of guide the uh, the dust back uh, back this way. I think I've got that in the right spot. Yeah, it kind of seems that way. So it'll be something like that. Pretty cool. And of course we have the normal uh, pieces on here that uh, bridge across there. And every time I look at uh, uh, one of these new pieces from Ryan, every time I see a new piece from Ryan, it's like he's getting better and better at design. It's so cool. I love this part. The rounded edges there, you know, uh, it's just nice design. And this one too, in fact, <clears throat> this is actually three parts that just kind of clip together. Once they're clipped together, they're nice and sturdy. Of course, they are going to be bolted down, but still, they all just... Uh, fit nicely together. It goes in there and this kind of clips over here and clips in and there it is. One piece. Very nice. These pieces are really cool. I like the uh, grid work. Another nice thing about this, oh and he's got the uh, uh, he's got his logo hiding right in there if you can see it. The other cool thing is I like how these are kind of uh, sculpted out here or so that in this part too it's kind of sculpted out there so um, the parts I assume are going to be going uh, uh, something like that I don't know we'll have to get it together but you can kind of see how that all lines up there very cool I like it might have it upside down I could have it upside down so we have the nice little <clears throat> um, angle bracket for on top. Nice little TIE fighter shape there. Very cool. It's got room to put the screw in from the top. And that meets very nicely with uh, the piece that it will sit on here. It's got the nice curved edge underneath there. It sits right on top here and then uh, just bolts uh, right on there. So, very cool. <clears throat> We've got the new um, end pieces for the, uh, uh, for the for the belt, for tie wrapping the belt in. I'm not sure exactly how these go, but uh, we will sure find out about it <clears throat> as we assemble the, uh, the machine. This piece looks quite familiar. Very similar to last time. Of course we got the logo on the end there. Let's see what else we have. <clears throat> and these are interesting parts. They're similar to the ones last time, but these have this little ridge on here so that once you, uh, let's see if I can do this correctly now. Once you bolt them on, and I'm going to be wrong here, I just know I am. Somehow those little guys kind of hold tight on the, on the base here. We'll find out how that works here uh, eventually. That and a whole bunch more parts. They almost all fit into a gallon bag for me this time. And there's this little guy too. It'll be interesting to see where that comes out uh, to be used at. <clears throat> 